Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Mars. Not something I thought I'd ever be saying from uh, a farming simulator game, but I'm, I'm sure you've seen from the thumbnail, I've done a thing. I have built a quarry. And the and reason I start with saying that is because I don't want any confusion. This is a new map. It's called Mars the Mission by Farmer Bob. It's, it literally came out, I think, a day ago. There are some map tools already out for this. So if you want to watch one of those map tours to get a gist of what the map is, the premise, what it looks like, and what features are on this map, then uh, by all means go watch a, a map tour. But I've decided to put a quarry in, and I say this to explain because I don't want anyone to watch this and confused and download this and go, I can't find the quarry. I have put the quarry in, okay? So I just wanted to make sure that that's perfectly clear before we go and have a look. So. I have actually been looking for a map to play on for a while to do quarry work. Essentially, to do gold mining. Uh, a mod came out, I, I forget the name of the mod, I'll put it in the description, uh, not long ago, where it enables you to, as long as you give it stone water, you can produce different ores, including gold ore, um, copper ore, and other stuff. We'll have a look in a second. And then you can further produce it into gold and iron and stuff. So, as I said, I've been looking at a couple of maps to do quarrying on, and I was looking at, for example, I know I looked at Chipping Norton. Um, there, there were two or three maps I looked at that's got really good quarries on to do quarrying. And then I watched a map tour. I think I watched Mr. Sealy P do a map tour on this one, and I was like, oh, isn't it a shame? I think it's a dying shame that this map in particular doesn't have a quarry. I just think it would fit so well. So... I decided to build one and that's what I'm going to be showing you in this video is the quarry I'm quite proud of it it's big I'm not sure and I could be wrong and if I'm wrong let me know in the comments but I don't think I've seen a quarry with this much stone in it there's a lot it's 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 taken me quite a while to make but I'm kind of proud of it so we're driving down now now I'm going to be doing uh, a, a, a play on this map, uh, this is set up ready for me to play. Whether or not it's going to be a let's play and I record episodes of me playing this, or whether it's going to be a private uh, play session and I don't bother recording, it's just something I enjoy personally, I haven't decided. I'm kind of thinking, we'll see how this video does. If people let me know in the comments or if you're liking the video that they'd actually like to see this play out as a story, then I'll record it. I'll, I'll do episodes on it. Now. The premise of what I'm going to be doing here is basically if you've seen the film The Martian, I'm going to be kind of doing that. I'm here, I'm on Mars, and my team have left me. I'm here alone. All, all the equipment is here. Everything was left behind, as they would do. They don't bring the equipment back. The equipment has been left behind. I have everything I need to survive. However, they don't have the money to come back and get me. This was supposed to be a one-way trip. So... I have to fund my rescue. So to do that, I've got to mine the ore out of the ground, because it's a discovery me and my team made before they left and left me behind. We found out that underneath the crust, underneath the soil, Martian soil, there is ore, and the ore is of a higher density and therefore more valuable than ores on Earth. So they have said, if I can mine enough and get it back to them, I can fund my rescue. However, it's going to take time and I'm going to have to survive. To do that, I'm going to have to use the fields and I'm going to have to make my own food, so carrots, potatoes and such. There's also domes, which you can see down there, where you can have animals inside those domes. So, sheeps for wool, that's going to give me clothing and bedding. Cows are going to give me milk for drink and food, substance, meat, chickens for eggs. So, you can get the idea, it's going to be, I have to survive until I can basically fund my own rescue. In this dome here, this is all the equipment that my team left behind. So, there's literally everything I could possibly need to survive on this map. Now the quarry that I've built, let's look at the quarry and then I will show you the productions that I've put in because I haven't just put in productions to do the, the mining. There's another really cool production I've put in which again fits so well with this map. But before we get into productions, in fact if you know, you know because we just drove past the, uh, the other production that I've put in. 
Now, they've also told me that the air's not going to last. There's not enough air to last how long it's going to take them to, to run a rescue operation. So I'm also going to have to plant loads of trees to increase the air. But this is my quarry here. Here we are. Look at the size of it. Now, this was just flat land. In fact, if I go... If I go to here and just zoom out a bit this whole area is flat there's nothing here so first thing i've had to do is lots of landscaping to make this mammoth hole and then you know lots of sort of decoration to make it look authentic like it's actually been dug out of the sort of the rock edges and then i've had to manually put in all this stone and it took me ages there is roughly 22 to 25 million litres of stone in this quarry. And the reason why I say I'm not sure I've seen a quarry with as much stone as this, and I could be wrong, but look at the thickness, or sorry, or the height of this stone. Most quarries I've seen, if you look at my curse in the middle, are kind of at the halfway point there, maybe even three quarters. I don't think I've seen one that's that thick. As I said, there's somewhere, I'd say somewhere between, and I am being very rough, it could be about 30 million. It's somewhere 25, 30 million litres of stone. I lost count as I was doing it. Um, so I've got all this equipment in, this equipment I've put in, ready to start my, my, my play session because I'm, I'm working on the premise that me and my team were here, astronauts. We were here as an experiment to see what we could find in the ground. So that's why there's a quarry here, that's why there's digging going on, and that's why all the equipment's here. So I don't have to worry about buying equipment, but I do need to fund my rescue, which is going to be of a cost of millions. I also need to survive, I have no food, and I'm going to be starting, as you can see, I have nothing. I have literally nothing. Uh, I don't know if I'll start with 100,000 in the bank, but let me show you the other productions. In fact, if I just come over to here, I will, wrong screen, I will show you um, the productions. Here we are. So you start with all productions. Again, if you want to see a map tour, you'll understand why you, you automatically start with all these productions and greenhouses. There's, there's a reason for that. But I've put in the Universal Crusher. And I will, if I remember, I will put a link to this mod. Um, in the description of this video. Now, this thing is awesome. So, lime and ore production. I put in stones and water, which is why I've built the quarry. And I will get out of that limestone, iron ore, gravel, uh, gold ore, and copper ore. So those are all the ores and minerals I'm going to get out of my quarry, essentially, using this mod. Which that is just down there. So this one here already comes with the map. This is the one that I've put in right here. So this is where I'd add in the water and it's where I'm going to add in the stone that I'm going to dig up from my quarry. And then as you just saw, it takes me straight to there. Now, from there, once I've got all that stuff out of the ground, the next step is I use this. And this is the next part to the production. So if we press visit, it takes me to here. And this is what further produces it. So for the gold production, I put in the gold ore and every 500 litres of gold ore will make one gold. Now that doesn't seem like a lot, but you wait till I show you the price. This is the same for the copper. For every 100 of copper, you'll get 80, sorry, copper ore, you'll get copper. And if you want to do the silicon, so that one, if we go up here, that one is the sand filling. So I'd have to put in sand. So I, I don't know if I'm going to do that, but if you want to, you can make silicon. And that first mod, you can also do trees to wood chip as well. So that is an extra thing. And you can also do lime production if you want to make your own lime, which again, it's not like I'm going to have a shortage of stone. I can also make my own lime. So lots and lots of options. Now, you may have just seen, but the next thing we're going to be doing is oil. Now, that... Is this one here so before my team left we realized there was a massive oil deposit under the ground and this was set up we were taking the oil out to send it back to earth because it's really rich it's much much better than the, the crappy stuff on earth so this one here 
which runs on air. It doesn't need anything air, which air is already produced inside the dome. All I'd have to do is turn this on and I start producing oil. I've got the tanker there to be able to move the oil and the oil gets processed here at this massive refinery. If I sneak through the gate. So this is a large refinery here. It is big. So if I show you this, it's down here. Now, as you can see from the oil, and it's the only thing it needs is oil, I can make paraffin, kerosene, motor oil, bearing grease, and I can make diesel. So again, I can further produce the stuff that's under the ground, and that's gonna help fund my rescue operation. So in my play session, Again, I don't know if I'm doing it as a let's play or whether I'm going to be doing it as uh, just a private game for me because I've been wanting to do this for ages. I'm going to be working my quarry. I'm going to be digging this out. Eventually, I'm going to have other things. I'm going to have belts in here and cranes and all sorts going on. So a lot of stone. Um, I'm going to be processing all of that. I'm going to be making the gold. I'm going to be making the copper. I'm going to be funding my rescue. I'm going to be planting trees all around the edge of the map to keep the oxygen going. I'm gonna to have to run animals to produce the wool that I need for clothing and to keep warm, eggs, cows, you know, all of that. And I'm gonna be working these fields. So for those of you that haven't seen a map tour, I'm not, I'm not gonna do a map tour, but th that's the map. And you basically start owning the whole thing because this is where you're living. And these are your fields that you have to work off. So I'll be doing cotton because again, clothing makes sense. I'll be doing sugar beets for sugar. Um, I'll be doing the various crops needed to do animals. You know, for example, the wheat, you know, I need the straw for cow, you know, that kind of stuff. Um, and I'm going to be doing a lot of the premium edition stuff. So I'm going to be doing like the carrots, um, parsnips, because I can live that. That's food. That's hearty food for me to live off. So carrots, parsnips, and I'll probably do potatoes. So that's my plan. I'm not saying I'll use all of those fields. I might have some grass fields, but that's the thing. And that's where my quarry is. You can see the diggers here. So my quarry kind of goes around there and then down in front of that last animal dome that's there so there we are that that is the the quarry let me know what you think in, in the comment i'm really proud of this i i really honestly wish that this map came with a, the quarry not necessarily like the one i've built but i i personally think this map should have come with a quarry i just think it fits so so well i am so so happy with this and i cannot wait to get to get stuck in so yeah please do let me know what you think this is the first time i've ever done this i haven't built a quarry before this really was experimental and when i started building this i didn't even know if it was going to work so it really was quite a surprise to me of how well this quarry has turned out and how well it fits with the two productions I've added in, which again, I will list um, links to those productions in the description of this video. So thanks so much for watching. Let me know what you think. If you haven't already, please give the video a like because it really does help. And if you'd like to subscribe so you don't miss any content, that would be really cool to have you on board. Take care and I will see you in the next video.